This video is a brief tutorial for the notepick shortcut file, which is included in the shortcut files library of the inline scripts plugin. The notepick shortcut file provides shortcuts that let you pick random notes from a folder and then get the front matter variables from those notes. It is intended to be called from other shortcuts rather than being called directly by a user. It was suggested and requested by Joshua Plunkett, who is planning to make another video tutorial going deeper into how this can be used. For this tutorial, I'm going to be starting with basic usage and then building my way back towards more advanced usage. I've set up this vault with data notes, in this case representing different items, each of which has a name variable and a cost variable. I've also set up a shortcut file with the single shortcut get items that you can call to produce a table of random items. I'll start by running through how that demo shortcut works, as it's an example of how I would expect someone to use the note pick shortcut file. It starts by calling the shortcut note pick pick from folder and get front matter, which is the most front facing shortcut of the note pick shortcut file. We pass it the items folder and the number of items we want to pick, so the shortcut returns the item data, we check to make sure that it's valid, and then we turn it into an array containing just the front matter. After that, it's just a matter of setting up a markdown table and iterating over the data to fill the markdown table. Finally, we return the completed markdown table. And that's about it, the results being as we just saw. Now let's review the notes that are included in the notepick shortcut file. The first shortcut, notepick pick from folder and get front matter, is the one I expect to be used in most cases, since it does everything you usually want to do with notepick in a single shortcut. Internally, it calls the note pick pick from folder shortcut, followed by the note pick front matter shortcut. The first shortcut being for picking notes, the second shortcut being for getting the front matter of notes that were picked. The final shortcut, note pick get pick, gets you a list of what was picked with the note pick pick from folder shortcut. Let's try these shortcuts out. Note pick pick from folder it takes a folder name. The quotes are optional, but useful if there are spaces in the path. Then it takes account of the number of notes to pick, defaulting to one if you don't enter anything. Finally, an identifier to reference this pick by. This is useful if note pick is being used in different ways, but you can skip it if you're only using note pick for one thing. Let's check to make sure that folder is right. Uh, capital I. Okay. Now we have the items picked and stored as demo. If we call note pick get pick and pass demo as the identifier, we can see what notes were picked. Finally, note pick front matter, again with demo as the identifier, which returns some text followed by an object that contains the front matter data and which is only readable when this shortcut is called from another shortcut. And that's pretty much all there is to note pick. I hope that helps. When Joshua Plunkett makes his video, I'll make sure to put a link into the show notes. Thanks for watching.